Welcome back lighting friends, Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions talking about the Cognito Lighting Control Console. And in the previous video we talked about these sliders along the top of the desk and how they can operate lights or they can operate recorded memories. We've gone over recording those memories and we've even gone over banking which is uh, taking 1 through 20 here and pressing this button while you're in the play task and getting 21 through 40. So in this case, handle two operates memory 22. We've covered that before and what you do with level matching when the hardware doesn't line up and, and that was all covered in a previous video. Just so you know, each memory page, in this case we are on the main memory page, um, or the main page it happened to be called, you can bank all the way up and it goes all the way up to about 400, which is frankly too much, uh, too many memories on one page all being called main. Um, so what you want to do is you want to create different pages for different um, tasks or uh, events. So uh, the main page is where you're probably going to do most of your things um, and uh, there's in this case a, a second page uh, which has a handle on it called work lights um, and, uh, and we don't like that page 2 descriptor. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to press the more button here so we can actually see this is now a directory of all of the memory pages and we're going to press edit and this is where if we wanted to delete an entire page you would press the do not enter sign and then you would press the delete button I don't want to do that in this case what I want to do is I want to edit so you see I do have edit flashing now I want to edit page 2 and the property I can get here is the name. So pressing the keyboard here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this works. These are for our work lights. And then we press done and we press done. So now we have a main page and a works page. Now you can have memories active on the main page. They're going out. But when you go to the work page, that stuff still remains active. It's just now you've loaded up this handle here to run your work lights. So you can bring those up, take those out at will, and then still go back just by touching down here to the main page, and then you have control of these guys here. So everything is hot all of the time. So that is how you name a page. Now, if you wanted to create a new page, you must do this during the record operation. So when you press record, which could be done by touching here on the desk, and you record memories, it says, do you want to record to the main page, which is the one that's highlighted? Do you want to record to your works page? Do you want to record to these rehearsal pages? Or you would press more here, and this is where you can add a page. So now it's called page four. We'll get into naming that in a minute. And then I can record my memory here, say on memory number one, and I'll just call this something. There we go. So now we have our page four and it has on the first memory something. So again if I wanted to uh, edit the name of that I press the more button, I press edit, I press the guy I want to name. In this case page four, it's not a very good name. I'll just call this page Bob. And then we press done. So now you see down here, the, the last page that we've added is called Bob. So that's very quickly how you manage memory pages on Cognito. In the next demonstration, we're actually going to start recording cues and putting those into playlists. So I hope you join me.